Hello, friends. It's me. No, the other one. Yeah, that one. Hi. It's Moonors. Yes. And uh, it's time for a question, perhaps? Different than a story. It's a question. It is from Dating Hill. So, uh... Yeah, you already know that this is going to get somewhere. Um, so this is from Reddit user drinking coffee now. I should be. And, uh, this is guys who try to knock up girls so they stay, question mark? I'm already immediately uncomfortable. Uh, I, I don't, I don't, I don't like where this is going, but, um, let's, let's read together, shall we? Whew, buckle in, I think this will make it weird. I have never dealt with this before. I mean, me either. I've seen this guy. A, we will call him. He and I were doing the situationship for eight months until I put an end to it. We didn't speak for two months. I started seeing this other guy. B, we will call him. When he was drunk one night, he said how much he wants to just put a baby in me. Ew. The next day, casually says that his friend told him that getting his GF mistakenly pregnant was the best thing he could ever do. I'm sorry, um, the phrase mistakenly pregnant is really starting to stick with me, and I don't like it. Don't like that. Don't, don't like what that implies. Makes all of me uncomfortable. Nope, nope, not liking this. When I saw him again two weeks later, he didn't pull out even we discussed it and basically was like, oh, well, it felt good, my bad. Thank God for birth control. I fled the scene. Yeah. Wow. Holy shit. Uh, A texted me a week after seeing B and was like, I miss you, blah, blah, blah. Somehow the topic of B came up and I told A how casual B had been about knocking me up. And A goes, well, our kids will be gorgeous. And I'm like, what? A had been terrified of getting me pregnant the entire eight months. And now he's talking about me having children. Uh Uh-huh. What is wrong with these men? I... Oh, oh, honey, I wish I knew. As much as I want kids, I want them to have a stable, normal father, and these men are far from it. (laughs) I mean, fair. I can't say I don't have my issues. I do, but I'm working on myself. I just don't understand what the heck this is where men try to knock up a girl to keep her, basically. Uh, this is extra hard for me because I'm, I'm one of them, uh, I'm one of them child-free motherfuckers who's just gonna be that way for life. Uh, don't like kids. Never have. But, um, yeah, this, what you're describing, this is, don't like it. Don't like it. I'm like you, though. I'm, I'm agreeing with you. Uh, what's wrong with these men? I don't fucking know. That is, that is some next level weird. This idea that like, oh, well, you're pregnant. I own you now. Ew. Stop it. What the fuck? No. No, dude. Down. Fuck off. You deserve a better class of people to be around. I I get that someday you want kids, but yeah, the, you know, having a stable, normal father is definitely a good requirement. (laughs) It's like, look, dog, I'm not expecting you to be rich. I'm just expecting you to be, you know, sane. Fair, actually. (laughs) That makes sense. But, uh, no, that's like, yeah, that's fucking weird, dude. Ah, is this a thing? Do people do this? Don't do this. Stop that. Don't, don't, with the fucking, mm -mm, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm-mm. Also, I, it kills me about guys like this is that entire mentality that like, oh, well, if this happens and you're pregnant, then like now we're stuck together. It's like, you know, divorce exists, right? Like, you know, she can leave, right? Like, you can't legally keep her in one place. That's imprisonment and it's illegal. You can't fucking do that shit. So, you know, that doesn't mean anything, right? It's like, oh, if we have a kid, we're always connected. And it's like, okay, but you can always be connected and she can always hate your ass. That's also a thing. Like, do you not think about this shit in advance? Like, what? For real, though. Like, for real, though. I don't... 
I don't know. This was extra weird. This is not a very long video, but this was extra weird, and I, I just kind of really wanted to, I don't know, talk about this. I really hope this isn't a thing. I really hope this isn't like a thing that a lot of guys are doing. Please don't. Please stop. Please actually think about, you know, okay, again, we're going to break down this mentality, okay? Dude thinks that, you know, hook up with girl, she's, she's pregnant, she can never leave. But she absolutely can, because you don't own her, that she's not property. This isn't like going to Ikea and, and buying a sofa. You didn't go to Ikea and buy a girlfriend. That's not how this works. Also, I don't think Ikea would sell you a girlfriend. They might sell you a person in several pieces that you then have to put together and will invariably always have leftover screws, but that's a different story. So, no, she can leave. That's not how that works. And, you know, but, oh, we have a kid, so we, we must. And like, no, no, dog. That, again, is not how that works. My parents split up when I was, like, two. I literally don't have any memories of them living together. And they are fantastic parents, but, like, yeah, that's not... You don't have this thing where you're permanently connected to another person because child. Totally not a thing. Totally not how that works. Like, no. Also, like, this entire thing, like, this is how we're going to make the relationship work. Uh, you know, if you're just... And now we have a kid. Like, that's also not how you fix a relationship. That is really not how you fix a relationship. That is, however, a perfect way to have a child who then has some fucking issues because you're crazy and have decided that this is just the way we're going to... Our relationship was suffering. Let's bring a third person into it. Like, no. What? Why? What the fuck, dude? I don't know. Fuck it. Mm. Mm -mm. Don't like it don't like it. But, with that being said, first off, OP, be fucking careful out there, because holy shit, dude. Them some fucking weirdos. And that goes for all of you. Seriously, be careful. The internet's a fucking terrifying place, and the real world, well, it isn't much better. Um, yeah, you know, seeing as one came out of the other, and remember that whole fucked up child analogy I was doing? Yeah, that. That, except the internet. So, you can't see me gesturing, but there's a lot of it. Anyway, um, make sure you do the YouTube thing. You know the thing. You know the one. You know. You know the one. You know it. You know. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I don't know why I kept doing that, but, um, yeah. And I have a Ko-Fi. Uh, it's fucking awesome, so you should check it out. And I have a merch store. And that's even more awesome. Possibly the most awesome, but I'm going to leave possibly in there because I'm not entirely sure. Further research is still being done, but we're damn close. If you enjoy live streams, uh, you should watch them. Specifically mine. Uh, I have several all over. This video is being live streamed right now during its recording. Hi, chat. You can't see the chat. You're watching this on a video. It's, it's different. They're there. They said hi. They said they like your shirt. Oh, you didn't know they could see you? We can all see you. It's a really nice shirt. I don't know where this video is going. It's just going really off the fucking rails. Uh, thank you all for being here. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.